So for some reason, I thought I've already done this beer before. Apparently I haven't. I think maybe I, I, I've, I've had it before, but not, but they did a little bit of rebranding, which I kind of like. So I don't know wh why I thought I did it. I've done black I've done black bellows before, but not the white version. So let's do it. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Ruski Brewski Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is by the Black Bellows Brewing Company. And they are out of Collingwood, Ontario. We have their white wheat beer, wit beer, with elder flower, elder flower, not berry, elder flower, coming in at 5% alcohols by volume. No listed IBUs on the very black and white can, looking stylish. IBUs are not listed on the website, but on tap, just showing it coming in at 13 IBUs. So, pretty excited. The Wits beer, Belgian style. Let's uh, let's just dive right in. Let's crack this bad boy open. How full is it going to be? Fairly full as well, just like the last one or the one tomorrow or the next day. Who knows? Who knows when I edit these and pick the order? But yeah, again, uh, uh, exchange uh, glass and wit beer time. Let's go. There we go. There we are. Looking at the beer, very beautiful, pale yellow in color. Nice bit of haze to it. You can see shadows uh, through it, but still fairly nice haze. White head on top. Very excited to have a smell. On the nose, what do you get? What do you get? What do you get? Well, you get a little bit of orange peel and you get a little bit of coriander going on. Not a little bit, but those two are the main stars of the nose. A little bit of a barnyard smell as well, maybe a little bit of hay. Mmm. Oh, yes, baby, please. Whoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, coriander, orange, orange peel. And a little bit of barnyard hay going on. Let's dive in. Mmm. 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 On the lighter side, a little airy, little very mellowed out flavors, but still good producing flavors. Uh, good flavor production, that's a better wording for it. Um, yeah, coriander, orange, a little bit of barnyard, a little bit of hay, a little bit of more like a like citrusy as well going on in it. <clears throat> a little bit a little florally as well to boot. Why do I have fluff on my glass? That doesn't make sense. Who knows? Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yep, florally, coriander, orange, slightly citrusy, a little bit of hay, a little bit of barnyard going on. Quite delicious, not overly intense, not in your face flavors per se. It's a little bit more mellowed out, a little bit more chill, refreshing, light bodied uh, indeed, but absolutely smooth, not overly effervescent by any means, quite smooth indeed. Yeah. Very low carbonation. Nice, fun to drink. Let's see what the can has to say. Black Bellows. The Bellows is a symbol of transformation and reimagining the old into the the old into the fantastically new of crafting old world recipes into modern masterpieces. This beer is one of our old standbys. You'll find it hazy, citrusy, and refreshing. Come on and join us at our brew pub, 40 Simcoe Street in downtown Collingwood, to blast off on the psychedelic beer and food trip of the ages. Come down for the beer, enjoy the food, and admire the art. Let the bellows feed your creativity. Why not? Creativity. Words are hard. Creativity. Ingredients. We have water, malted barley, unmalted wheat, elderflower, santame, and uh, galena hops. Coriander, key lime zest, uh, Seville orange rind, and Belgian yeast. Well, a lot going on here. Key lime zest. Ooh, fancy. It's good. Black Bell is Brewing, 40 Simcoe Street, Collingwood, Ontario. 
Forge ahead. Damn straight, I will. On the bottom for a Candon date, oh, big, bold letters and numbers. July 21st, 2020 was when this was canned. Less than a month old. Can't go wrong. A solid, solid beer. The flavors are a little bit too mellow for my liking, but they're on point. It's refreshing. It is just a, ooh, it's a gorgeous beer. Solid, solid stuff. On the website, blackbellows.com, you got to go to the beer section to find out information about the beer. Um, that's just what it is. We'll get to pricing in a minute. But there is a very short, sweet little description. Hazy, citrusy, and refreshing Belgian-style wheat ale brewed with elderflower. Belgian-style wheat ale, 5%, 473 ml can. Short, sweet, straight to the point, good looking stuff. On Untapped, Weiss has been given a 3.56 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of ooh, just under 4,000 ratings. 13 IBUs to boot. If you're actually local LCBO and want to pick up a can of the white, God, that's good. You'll be paying $3.50 for the 473 ml can. A little bit more than the average, I want to say, but still not ridiculously expensive. A solid stand-up beer to enjoy. Now, the funny thing is when you go to the Black Bell's website, though, and you're looking for a single can, it's $3.10. So you're saving $0.40 cents if you buy directly from the brewery, which makes sense. Uh, so, it's up to you. Maybe I'm the sucker, but it was more convenient at the LCBO at the time. So, you know, but, you know, you pay that extra bit. You pay that extra bit for convenience. Overall, very stand-up, refreshing, delicious beer. Very happy I, I picked this up. Can't believe I didn't I haven't reviewed it earlier. Good stuff. Cheers on the final sip, guys. Let's get ready to and wrap this thing up. Black Bellows, white. Belgian wheat beer, Belgian wheat ale, great flavors, great flavors bar none, can't complain on anything like that, maybe a little mellow for my liking, but at the same time, as I was drinking it, I kind of like that mellowness about it, it's not overly in your face, it's just a nice, ooh, beautiful, beautiful intensity to it, works, just, works brilliantly, solid, solid 8.4 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, I kind of miss the old style logo, but at the same time, this just looks so cool. The black and white and the and the all silver can, nothing, you know, a little bit of silver showing. It's just, ooh, it's clean, it's nice. I really do appreciate it. It's, it stands out, but it makes you happy. Good long description, beautiful ingredients list as well. No IBUs, but that's not a big deal. And on the bottom, a big, bold, big lettered, numbered, kind of canned on date. Ooh, I can't go wrong. As for the website, no dedicated beer page at the moment, but a lot of breweries have been doing that with these COVID times. Uh, maybe to save money, uh, but still. Uh, short, sweet, very uh, good looking uh, shop page. Nothing fancy, it's a shop page. You don't need anything super fancy, but straight to the point, really do appreciate that. Nice little description, ABV, good to go. Uh, yeah, presentation gets a solid, ooh, gets a solid eight out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to view in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Baruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for me, Mate Baruski, and like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. So let's pour this white wit beer into this clear golden lettered glass. And let's sit on our asses and enjoy because that's what you gotta do. Cheers.